Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to customize XFCE desktop environment on Linux. Let's see the final result first. As you can see, I customized the XFCE to look like Mac OS. But I'm not saying that Mac OS is the most beautiful OS in the world, because look and feel can be very objective. The only reason I'm making this video is to showcase all the tools that are available on Linux so that you can use them to make it your own version. And if you go to Unix porn subreddit, you will see how many things you can do with Linux and only sky is your limit. The other thing I want to mention is that I'll be using Manjaro for this video and most of these tricks will work on other distributions. But if you're using Ubuntu or Fedora, there will be minor differences, so I'll be putting reference links in the description down below. Now let's begin. Let's start with the application launcher. The application launcher I picked for this video is called Ulauncher. It is very easy to use, and it is available in the Arch Linux repository. So all I need to do is to go to add remove software, go to search, type in Ulauncher, and install it. Now we can start using it. The icon will be showing up here. And let's go to the preference to see how we can customize it. The default hotkey is control and space. So if I hit that, the launcher will show up. And we can start using it to search any applications here. Next, I want to mention this option. If we enable it here, the U launcher will be automatically started after each login. Let's see what we can do with the extension. On their official website, if we click on extensions, we can see all the extensions here. For me, I always like to install a dictionary. And this is the dictionary I usually use. I'm going to click on the copy button here and go back to the preference. Click on add extension and paste the URL here. Click on add. The extension will be showing up here. Let's test it out. So control and space will bring up the launcher. I'm going to search for some word you will return the definition of my search. Now let's install an application doc. Similarly, go to add and remove software. Search, plank, and install. Let's start the plank. When using plank in XFCE, there's a possibility you will see a black bar above the doc. What we need to do is to go to settings manager and go to window manager tweaks under compositor tab unclick this option show shadows under dock windows the black bar then will go away then let's see how to auto start the dock go to settings manager session and startup application auto startup click on add name it plank put in the command plank click ok make sure it is ticked on here close the setting and finally let's move the panel out of the way right click on the panel go to panel preference uncheck the box where it says lock panel move the mouse here and drag it all the way to the top go to the panel preference again and lock the panel now we can see the dock properly underneath there's another setting for the dock you might want to consider enabling to do that what we need to do is to right click while holding the control key on the keyboard and go to preference enable the icon zoom so if we hover over the icons they will be enlarged you can also adjust the scale here now, let's see how to change the icons. Open a browser, go to xfce-look.org, click on full icon themes. If we go to ratings, you will see there's a Mac OS one right here. Click on this. For this video, I'm gonna use the green one. Save the archive to the computer. If we go to our file manager, we'll see it here. Right click on it and extract it here. We have a folder here. If we go into this folder, you can see there are two subfolders. Make sure these are the folders contain all these files. Let's go back to the home page now. Click on view, show hidden files, and create a new folder called .icons. Go back to our icon folder. Copy all these two folders to the .icons folder. After that, if we go to settings manager, appearance, icons, we'll see Mojave here. I'm going to choose the non-dark one for now. And we'll see the icons already changed. Let's see how we can change the window theme here. I'm still in the XFCE website. 
go to GTK3 and 4 themes. Again, we're gonna click on rating and the Mojave theme is right here. So for this theme, if you want to have the full package, this link will take you to the official GitHub where they will tell you how to install it. But for this video, I'm gonna download the dark theme only. Open up the folder and extract the package. Similarly, make sure this is the parent folder for all these files, and then we can copy it. Go to home folder, create another folder called .themes, and paste the extracted folder here. Go to settings manager, click on appearance and style. We can see the new theme to pick up, and all the window decorations will change to Mac OS. There is a possibility not all of them change at once, at least in my experience, for this VM to work, I needed to restart the system for it to work. And the other thing I want to mention is that initially the Firefox won't work. What I did to fix this was to go to menu and more tools, customize toolbar, and unclick title bar in order for the window button to work properly. Now let's change the wallpaper still in the xfcelook.org. Go to the wallpaper section. What I'm gonna use is this wallpaper. Click on download and no logo version. Go to the folder and right click on the picture set as wallpaper. Now the only thing left is to change the application menu. Because this is Manjaro, so Whisker menu is pre-installed and configured here. But if you're using other distribution, make sure that Whisker is installed in your system and then go to panel property, click on icons, add a new icon, add a Whisker menu here. By default, the whisker button will be added to the end of the panel. So what we need to do is to pump it up here. I will delete one of them because now I have to. To change this icon, right click on it, click properties, panel button, left click on the icon image. Here you will see all the icons installed in this system. I'm gonna go to all icons, search for applications and choose this. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment if you have further questions. And please hit the like button if this video is helping you daily driving a Linux distribution. And I will see you in the next one.